how great it tasted. Even with the onions. Yeah, even with the <laughs> onions. So I took another bite, knowing I was finna bite into onions, and I'm like, I gotta try this. I'm like, this the, I'm like, this the best. It? I'm oh like, this the best. I said, this the best burger I've ever had in my life. This burger right now. Everybody been talking about it, man. Boss Talk 101. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it right there. I'm really finna eat all of it though. Bud, thank you so much, man. Oh, you're welcome. Boss Talk 101 had to come down here and figure it out. And I was like, is this it? But like, we think we got it. Give us two weeks and come back, right? We think we got it, but give us two weeks. We're going to make some changes and come back. Still with buns. And you're not getting it before, but. I know, but still, that's okay. Make sure you get some over there where the sauce at. Oh, okay. I, want you to try. I had the real deal. I had to go with the onion. Okay, the sauce down here, so I'm going to get it. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Okay. It's good. And I came back in two weeks, and it was was better. It was one of the best meals I ever had. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk. Uh, the Trill Burger. Uh, I want to ask you. That's what you want to ask, man. Okay, Don't I want to ask, ask you a specific ask. question about. And take how, your time. How, how do you how do you <laughs> think, how do you think Pilt would feel about Trill Burger? I got. I ask think that. the only person that eat at Trill Burgers. More than my wife <laughs> would be Chad. I, had I honestly that. believe that he would have sold, he would have felt like a personal stake. Even if he had no financial mm -hmm. stake, I think he just would have wanted to see me succeed. Yeah. Mm. That's, that was the one thing we wanted from each other, was we genuinely wanted the other person to win because he had goals and I had goals. We had a collective goal with UGK, but we knew that that could create the things that we actually separately was looking for in life. And it did, it provided us that pathway, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, like I say, he was always my biggest supporter. He was always my biggest fan. And he would have been right there in New York when we won. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And he would have been right there in Houston when we opened. Right, and he would have been Pee Wee. Uh, which hey, I'm finna come through there. What you call them in town? I'm finna bring them niggas up there and show them your shit. You know what I'm saying? Show them what my little my big brother doing. You know what I'm saying? That's like, hard. Like he would have been absolutely in my corner, and it would have been beautiful because I wouldn't have had to paint a mural of him. Man. I just I could have took a picture with him. I heard you be playing that ball. I, I'm coming. You ain't got to worry about that. I already been trying to get down there. Been so busy, but I'm coming. I heard you be playing that that UGK, UGK in there. All in there I, I, yeah. I can't wait well, to get Trail there. Burgers. Look at Trail Burgers. Now, I have employees that put in very hard hours and work very long days in my store. So, yeah, I do. It's every now and then, they need to switch it up to keep motivated, keep motivating themselves. But it's very important that when people come in Trill Burgers, that it feel Trill. Trill. Yeah. It look Trill and it sound Trill. And that's the, my thing is experience. Like, people, people come from all over America and they have an idea of what they want to hear and what they should see when they walk in Trill Burgers. You know what I'm saying? I should see something that say UGK. I should see something that not only say Pimp C, I feel like I'm supposed to see Pimp C in there. I feel like I need to be hearing some, some music, if not some screw. I need to be hearing some, like, her some favorite, Kiki. some Kiki, <laughs> right? And, and they do. They absolutely do. We sell exotic pop soda in there. Yeah. So we trying to give them the full Houston experience with a touch of that UGK to, on top. How long did it take you to come up with that, um, with a patty? I didn't. Who came up I with that? I didn't invent patty? it. I didn't she invent it. She loved food. So, no, so no, two chefs. everybody so, talk about it so, so much. So, so there were two chefs, uh, Chef Mike Pham and Chef Nando. They came together to create the perfect smash burger. So Nando, um, you know, worked on the technique on how to make the patty perfect as a as a product itself. And Mike came up with the seasoning as well as the trill sauce. Mike had always wanted to make a burger. He felt like a burger was the most American thing mm -hmm. in the world. You know what I'm saying? And so with his family being from Vietnam, he felt like if he could make the best burger, it would make him feel American. He actually oh, had wow. just said that on Chopped, he won. He did a burger mm -hmm. competition on Chopped and won wow. on Chopped, too. Wow. So it's actually cementing him as the best burger mm. chef in America, Dang. and which is really all he ever wanted to be. He's a traditional trained chef. Like, he went to school and everything. Um, and he told his parents, you know, he wanted to be a chef, and he went to school, and they were like, okay, what kind of food are you going to make? What kind of I'm going to make burgers. Burgers. Like <laughs> 
you know? Like he didn't have to go to school for that. <laughs> right? But now look at him. He literally has created the best burger in America. And some, as somebody explained to me, it's the best burger in the world because all the best burgers in the world have always come from America. Come on now. An American burger is off top better than anybody, anybody. else. What burger. makes it bur- what makes an American burger? Well, look at Jamaican name. That, just gone. I knew you gonna do this. What makes an American burger better than any other burger is cuz he'll say it's the beef. It is. It absolutely is. That's the that's the thing. It's got- the beef. It's the beef. Now, you could make a wagyu burger, mm-hmm. right? From a wagyu cattle, but right. it would be a waste of the cow. Because you wouldn't be getting top dollar for for the beef. If I made, a, if I bought a cow like a Wagyu Japanese mm-hmm. A five cow, what it would cost for me to it's buy way that more beef is way too expensive mm-hmm. because the, and it's because of how the the cow is treated, mm-hmm. right? So I can't afford to buy that and make only burgers. Mm-hmm. I got to sell steaks. steaks. I got to get my money's mm-hmm. worth out of it, right? And so that's so outside of that, if you're looking at hamburgers, we do in America have more cows and the best cows for ground beef. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so and because I'm in Texas, I'm in close proximity for sure. to cows. I can throw a rock at any yeah, direction. Yeah, we go look at some in a minute. So I'm in a yeah. perfect I'm in a perfect place in a perfect position to not only create a hamburger business but sustain a hamburger business. I'm literally the number one customer of the farm now. Mm. I buy more meat than yeah, any anybody. steakhouse, mm. any burger company, anybody. Nobody buys more beef than them. Nobody sells more Dr Pepper in America outside of a. You, it have to be a football game. Like a football stadium has to have or a Taylor Swift concert yeah. for somebody to sell more Dr. Pepper than me in America in any given day. Tell me about the first, um, your, your first time tasting that patty for the first I, time. I couldn't believe a hamburger could taste like that. It literally, it came with onions and pickles and I hate both. <laughs> but he I say I don't like I hate them both. But I say if I'ma sell it, I got like I gotta, gotta eat it. I gotta eat. I got a beer. I don't drink beer. I don't eat. But I gotta you try drink to camouflage it. the the onion taste with a beer. No, no, no. I'm just saying I don't. I hate beer. Oh, okay. So, but I own a beer. Oh, right. So, oh, so, you had to drink so it. I had to drink I had it. To drink I got it. to try this product, and I ate it. And first of all, I couldn't believe how great it tasted, even with onions. Yeah, even with the <laughs> onions. So I took another bite, knowing I was finna bite into onions, and I'm like. I gotta this try the, this. I'm like, this the, I'm like, this the best. It? I'm oh like, this the best. I said, this the best burger I ever had in my life. This burger right now. Everybody been talking about it, man. Boss Talk 101. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it right there. I'm really gonna eat all of it though. But thank you so much, man. Are you welcome? Boss Talk 101 had to come down here and figure it out. And I was like, is this it? But like, we think we got it. Give us two weeks and come back, right? We think we got it, but give us two weeks. We're going to make some changes and come back. Here with Buzz. And you're not getting it before, but. I know, but still, that's okay. Make sure you get some over here with the sauce at. Oh, okay. I want you to try I had the real deal. I had the one with Diane. Okay, the sauce down here, so I'm going to get it. Good. And I came back in two weeks, and it was was better. It was one of the best meals I ever had. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.